hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to register and verify your alipay account alipay is an app that is more like a bank app that is used to make payments or to do some other things but 1688 importers use it mostly for only payments if you want to start importing from 1688 you need an alipay account it is only the alipay that you can use to make payment on 1688 website before i forget you will need international passport for the verification i'm talking about without international passport you cannot um, verify the account and use the account after registration so have this at the back of your mind that when you register your account you will need an international passport to verify your account so guys let's dive right into the video so to begin with you need to download the alipay app so go to your play store i store to download it so this is the app open the app so once you open the app you are required to sign up so from here click on this area code um select your country code i'll be selecting nigeria so this is nigeria then enter your your phone number then then click on sign up now click agree to agree to the attempts and condition then they are going to send a code like this to your phone once you receive the code then you come and impute it here so let's wait for the code. so i want to log in now to the account i just registered when you get here click enter international version so this is how to register um alipay account so the next thing you need to do is to set up your password set up your password because if you if you noticed it when we were doing the registration right now it did not ask for for password any place for you to enter your password for registration so when you are done like this come to the app click on me click on me then click on settings after you click on settings then click on account and security Then from here, click on login password. So they are going to send a a code. You have you have passed the security check. You can now change the login password directly. So change now. Then from here, you can enter the password you want from eight to twenty characters. So login password says set successfully. So this is how to set your password. So whenever you want to log in with another device to your Alipay account, it's just for you to um, set this, um, use this password that you have set now to log in. That's all. The next thing to do right now is to verify your account. So to verify your account, click on, on this arrow right here so when you click on it let me repeat it click on this arrow right here now so when you click on it then click on real name verification you can see that it is showing unverified so click on this place where this unverified is click on it so it's going to take you to where you will use your international passport to verify the account now click on verify now so use this option of scan to fill automatically or you can use you can manually fill your your passport number your passport name date of birth and expiry date on on it so i'm going to use scan to fill in automatically So now, scan, scan passport or select from album. If you already have the 
a, the picture of your passport on your phone, you can select from album. You can use the option to select from album. Or if you have it handy, like the passport is on your hand, you can use scan passport. So I'm going to use select from album to select it. So click on allow. So from here, click Submit. So the next thing to do now is to verify face. So from here, you can scan your face using the camera to verify the face, your face. So I'm going to be doing that now to verify my face. So that's all. I have done the verification. Successfully, you can see that real name verification is showing verified. Before it was unverified, right? So now it is verified. So the next thing you need to do is to upload um, a picture. You can upload your picture here. You can When you click on this avatar here, you click on profile home page. Then... You click to upload a picture of you and put it here so the next thing to do is to set your payment password the password you'll be using to make payment on on a 1688 so to set your payment password click on me click on settings yes. then click on payment settings then click set say please set a six digit payment password to proceed next steps so click on set once you are done um setting your payment password the next thing to do is to to um log in use the um alipay option to log into 1688 so that you can start buying buying products so now go to um 1688 app if you don't have the app already you need to go and download the 1688 app so you need to download the 1688 app so let's go to the 1688 app now let me let me show you how you can log in automatically using the alipay Open your option 16 on the 1688 app, then app. use the alipay option to log in like this and that will be all Once you log in successfully, all you need to do is to come to the 1688 and start, start start shopping for the things you want to buy. And when when you are done shopping, the next thing is to make payment, right? So let's go back to the Alipay app now. So you can now um, contact people who sells RMB to transfer money to your account. You can see the balance is zero zero. So you need to put money on this account now so that you can start um, making payment on once it's eight account. Once it's eight and start buying products. This is just how it works. There is no other two way about it. It's very easy and simple. So you can start shopping from once it's eight. But before then, you also need to register an account with a shipping company so that the shipping company will send you their um, address in China so that you can use it to buy your details. So that as you are buying from once it's eight, eight, they will they will take your product to the address you have given to them. That is the shipping company's warehouse in China. And when your goods complete, they can now ship them down to Nigeria for you. So this is basically how it works, how to um, um, register a Lipping account and use it to buy products from once it's eight, eight. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned one or two things today please don't forget to like comment if you have any question or anything you don't understand please drop it in the comment section and i'm going to respond to your comments immediately please don't forget to also share my video thanks for watching see you in my next video bye